Unbelievable. You just can't write scripts like this. Five years then. Can you believe that? Since the most sensational, exciting breakthrough I can ever remember, really, from a Premier League player. How do you reflect on it now? It feels like a, a long time ago. Um, you know, a lot's happened since then. Um, lots of, you know, new experiences, big games, and just growing as a player, really. Are those goals, your first Manchester United goals, are they still your favourite Manchester United goals, or at least right up there? Yeah, they're definitely um, up there. Um, I think there's there's other goals that I like in in bigger games or bigger bigger circumstances. Um, that probably edge it a little bit, but yeah, them them goals will always be be close to me. Do you remember your post match interview? I think you scored your first Premier League goal with your first Premier League shot. Yeah, <laughs> same as your old part. <laughs> you are more than a footballer now. So, at what point did you start to think you could use? your fame, if you like, your status, to do something with? It was a choice, you know, that I made and um, a decision that I, I, would, I would do all over again um, because it's, for me, it's, it's the right thing to do. And, you know, it's as, it's as simple as that, really. Um, I always knew that you could just because of other examples um, of different athletes um, doing good things for, you know, their communities. I feel like that's, that's one big huge positive of social media but it, sometimes it gets out, outshadowed by um, the negatives of social media which people like to highlight all the time. Um, there, there has to be a balance between it and you know for me I don't, I don't really use it um, unless it's, unless it's for, for them reasons. Social media has given you the voice to achieve things you might not otherwise have been able to achieve Yet, on the other hand, we see this abhorrent, disgusting abuse directed at you, directed at other people. It feels like a, a constant stream at the moment of either racism or, or death threats. So how do you feel about the two sides of that and how it's affected your life? I feel like it doesn't affect me as, as maybe as much as other people because, like, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not actually actively on social media. For me, it probably doesn't have a... Um, as much as an effect as it does for maybe some other, other people that are on there a bit more. The way that you deal with it and the way that you move on, that's, the, that's where you have to show strength and show that you're mentally capable to, to deal with such things, even though you shouldn't have to because it shouldn't be happening. Do you have any idea what the solution to this is? Online abuse, I think it should be easy to stop. You just deactivate the, the accounts and, you know, we know that it's... It's very easy to make four or five accounts, but if, if you've got to block them all, then you block them all. And I feel like that's on the, the actual social media companies themselves, um, Instagram, Twitter. They, if, if they see anyone that's being racially abused or you know, abused in any, in any way, they sh the, their accounts should be deleted straight away. And that's one way of, of getting rid of most of it, if not all of it. In what way would you say you're a better player now? There's loads of different aspects, but the, my, my time under Jose was like a massive learning period for me and I feel like I understood football in a different way to, to what I'd understood football as before that. I learned to, to win in different ways um, when I was that's young. That's interesting, Marcus, though, because that's often the Jose years for you, and I ask you this because I think you're going to say something positive, um, that's often thought of as a tough time in your career, but that, you're saying the opposite, really. Yeah, it was, it was a tough time in my career, but they're the, they're the moments that they either make you or, or they break you, really. And, um, you know, his, his style of coaching, it might not have been perfect for me, but it, it definitely made me improve as a, as a player um, and as a person as well. So coming through the academy, it was always about, you know, playing as well as you can play, expression, expressing yourself and go and score as many goals as you can. And yeah, if you can win 6-4, then go, go out and win 6-4. Um, but under Jose, we learned that 1-0 is the same as 6-4. As is this season still about steps? Or right now, is there still a Premier League to be won? There's still a chance, there's always a chance. Um, but we have to focus on ourselves and we have to focus on taking steps forward as, as a team because we're far from a, the, the finished article. You know, the team that you see this season should hopefully improve by, by next season and we're still on the journey of becoming the best team that we can be. And, you know, I believe that if we, if we do that, if we do become the best team that we can be, 
um, then we've, we've definitely got a chance of, of winning them big trophies.